keeping the F-22s alive has uh -huh. become problematic. So they're um, talking about what looks like operational problems with the F-22. The Air Force is planning to reduce its inventory of F-22 fighter jets uh, within mm -hmm. its fiscal 2024 budget. They requested to phase out several Block 20 F-22s. They're going to put 32 of their 185 F-22s into storage, even though they're not yet 30 years old. They've been having difficulties <laughs> in real life with um, operational costs and maintenance challenges. Also have had difficulty integrating it with new weapons, particularly the F-35. And that it, they're concerned that it might, in fact, be too costly, although it says costly here. I'm not sure if that's the same thing. Um, yeah. It may be too costly to upgrade it. So they're just going to have the money rededicated to the NGAD program. Is is 30 years realistic? I mean, did you guys, did, like when you were doing all no. this, were you like, this jet will no. be around for 30 years? Nope, absolutely not. 20 years. Is that is that standard? Is the 20 year? What's the rules back when I was in, in charge? But I don't know what I don't know what it is now. To be honest with you, what do you forever? What it's do you think forever. changed as far <laughs> as? I mean, I know they cut the order, right? That was a big thing. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what actually happened. Okay, the uh, we had laid out the production program or the development program and a production program based on a certain schedule, and then that had a certain funding profile. Now, the first thing that happened is after we went on contract, Congress says, we need this money to do something else. I don't know what, what it was, you know. Sure wasn't paying me money. But anyway, they cut cut the budget significantly. And then they did it again in the next year. Well, when you do that, the first thing that happens is it takes longer and it costs more money because you got to keep the designers, the engineers, the, main, the maintenance people, the logistics, logisticians, the finance guys, and everybody else on board during that period when you aren't building the airplane. And so you've got an extra period of time where you're actually using people to do work, but you aren't producing any product. And so when the funding profile kind of went, you know, it goes up. And then they cut back on the engineers because of the engineering's done. They cut back on this and they cut back on that because you're in production and the funding looks like this. Then it takes off again when you're actually buying airplanes. Well, what happened was when they stretched it, it went like this. And then started to taper down. Well, because it stayed high spending, Congress got upset again. I said, "Was well, your fault?" Well, oh, you're going to listen to me. Of course they are. <laughs> and then, so the money ran out, and then somebody decided in Congress, I think, that the Warsaw Pact was not a big deal anymore, and we don't need this thing to go busting through the FIBA and shooting the guys down in their backyard. So it, we don't need them anymore. End of story. That was it. And that's why they only built 182 a year. 182 airplane started out 750 went down to 500 then it went down to 432 or something like that but wow. the airplane basically did what it's supposed to do and the ones that are going to retire it costs too much to upgrade them because they were trainers basically you get you take the you you go from lead-in fighters to you go to these things and you go to the actual operational squadron yeah, those are the ones that were at Tyndall or Eglin. Eglin yeah. at Tyndall. That's that's the jets we flew against Gonkey. Mm -hmm. So you can and I'll tell you another thing, Adam. They're talking about the avionics. There's another save money. We were in the development during the, the uh before the full scale development started. Now somebody up in the Fort Fumble. It is brilliant idea that we can use these common modules for the RHA, RAH-66, the, the Army Stealth Helicopter, yeah, the Navy's A-12, and the Air Force's Advanced Tactical Fighter. And all I have to do is change the software 
and they can do whatever they want with them. But they'll be kind of like iPads, and you can put whatever you want on them. I said, you guys are nuts. So basically what we did was form this thing. What was it called? John? Uh, some screwy name. Where the Army, Navy, and Air Force all got together and met periodics needed to decide what these common modules look like. So I told my boss, now the way we're going to get away with this is we're going to ignore them. And we're going to send some people up there to play with them. And we're going to keep the baseball back here at right pedal. He said, how are you going to do that? I said, well, we can't tell the contractors what to do because this is a DEMVAL program and they don't have any requirements. So we're going to just sort of say, pay attention to those guys, but not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys started hearing num mumbles from Fort Fumble that unless you do that, we're going to take your money away. And so the contract started playing, well, we got to get common modules. And so we had this tussle all the time about it. We do the ones we need for our problem and minimize the expenditures on these other things because they ain't going to work. And eventually the A12 vanished and the RHA, RAH66 vanished and we were the only ones left. And we wasted a lot of money, but it was going to save money, but we wasted a lot of money. But anyway, so... Anytime you do that, you lock yourself into a system that is not easily upgraded because somebody's going to have a new requirement over here, somebody's going to have a new requirement over there, somebody's going to have a new requirement over there, and they're going to diverge anyway, so why not start in the first place? But it hampered the development of the computing system in the airplane, and it's just too expensive to put a new one in. That's as simple as that. Yeah. Too expensive to upgrade. You can't. We just don't yep. have the money anymore. Maintenance, it's it's a burden you're going to have to pay if you want to have an invisible airplane. I'm sorry. It's, in, it's invisible, Gonky. can't see it, but it's right yeah. there.